I, I believe you were the the sixth woman inducted to the NSMA Hall of Fame. Yes. And a few years ago, you were the the third woman of ever to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Two on second on the broadcast side, less okay. the venerable Leslie Visser and myself, and then Shireen Williams on the <clears throat> pardon me on the Prince side. Okay, how special was that? Well, it was very surreal, um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, because uh, it is not something I ever thought would happen, and I'm not just sitting here being, oh my God, I failed the test and I got an A. Here, here's the reason why. Um, uh, I've taken on the NFL a lot in my career. Uh, stories ranging from domestic violence to painkiller abuse, to the use of marijuana, to uh, the, the one story that um, when, for real sports that I did that rankled certain people at the NFL more than any other was a story I did on the abuse of cheerleaders by their teams. And I got a call from somebody at the NFL and they go, well, why don't you do this? And why don't you look into this? And I go, here's the deal, pay your friggin' cheerleaders. And we don't even have to be doing this story. So I do, I did things like that because my, my obligation as a journalist is to capture reality and, and present what these issues are. And so I never thought that I would get that call because I always felt my, if my work's going to speak for itself, my work has not always been the most positive for the national football league. So that made it even more special, but I'm waiting on the side of the stage to be introduced and they're playing my, my, my piece um, that the wonderful Robin Roberts narrated and it, you know, it's like a career retrospective. So they're, they have the Olympics in there and they have ESPN in there and, and they have real sports in there. And they use a clip from my story on marijuana use on the NFL where Nate Jackson, a former player, is talking about the efficacy of marijuana. And yes, he, he believes that it, it really has pain killing properties. And the guy next to me on the stage goes, oh, well, I don't know that we've ever heard the word, you know, I don't know that we've heard marijuana discussed at the Hall of Fame. And I couldn't resist, Brandon. I turned to him and I go, I'm in the Hall of Fame now. <laughs> There's that moment where it's like, first of all, I'm going in and you can't <laughs> me. But I, I, was, I was proud that with the body of work that I've done, uh, that I was selected for that reason and not for political reason, and certainly not because all everything that I've done has always been, uh, you know, flowers and roses and chocolates for the NFL. Um, I've tried to do my job and report on the league, every league and every subject as fairly as possible.